Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Passion Theory, where I share with you some of my passions. This one has to do with thrifting and reselling. Um, it's going to be, as the title suggests, um, we are going to get into that Shop Goodwill 26-pound box that I was talking about. We had previously done a 9.5-pound one, and I'm really excited to see what's in this one. This is probably one of my favorite favorite things to do because you never know what you're going to find and it's like legit treasure hunting because sometimes you find gold and silver which, which is treasure so I'm a pirate basically right all right so let's get into it inside my big old box looks like they put things into like bags and then inside the bags I open this bag up oh my gosh Let's open this bag up. Hang on. Looks like there's even smaller bags in here. So we'll just grab one of these bags and dump it out. And that will be our, our um, what we sort out. So that's about two scoops worth. We'll just do a bag. And then we'll have more bags to do next time. Bam. Let's get started. So here is what that bag looks like. This looks like this whole bag is pretty much almost all earrings but I see a lot of earring mates so hopefully I can match these up and find some good things I do see some things that aren't earrings but this bag looks like it's primarily this one little bag and mixed in with all the other bags <laughs> looks like it's primarily earrings which I do really well on earrings so that's fine by me too but uh yeah let's see what we can find and match up okay so we got this little ring here. I'm gonna put this in the pink lot. These would, I would probably have sold these for like $25, but it's missing a pearl here and a gem there. So unfortunately, these guys are gonna have to go in a junk lot. These also have to go in a junk lot because this is coming apart. These I'm going to sell for probably 12, um, 12 to 15. These here are old school clip-ons, clip-on sell, you guys. They're people who can't get their ears pierced for whatever reason or don't want to. These are red, white, and blue, so they're patriotic. I'll probably sell these for about 15. Um, these are made of hematite which is a gemstone. It's actually my favorite stone. These are going to go in a witchy box. And then these little guys are kind of falling apart. So these are also going to go in a um, junk lot. All right. So these I'm going to separate. And because there's, there's two that go together, I'm going to separate them. And sell them for probably ten dollars each. These nice, cool, big, giant earrings here. Look, look at them compared to my hand. Look how huge these are. Sell these for probably twenty-five dollars. Those are awesome. These I'm gonna put in a blue lot. Same with these, like enamel, blue enamel earrings here. These I'm gonna sell for probably fifteen. And then these are made to look like a fancier type of earring these are probably just going to end up in a blue lot because they are mostly blue or i could stick them in the rainbow lot since they have rainbow lot just means like a mixed color lot since they have like three colors on them okay so these earrings were homemade and very poorly made this is like off to the side and not where it should be so these are gonna go in a junk lot um these here i'm probably going to sell for about 15. these unfortunately are missing stones and scuffed up so they're gonna go in a junk lot these are gonna go in a pink lot i'm gonna sell these for about 20. these i'm gonna sell for 15. and then i have this little ring here See if I can get it to focus in on it. Of course not. But it appears to have an opal, whether that opal is 
lab created or not, I don't know. There is a marking on the inside of the ring, but I can't read it. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to test this guy and see if uh, we have anything good. All right, so these big earrings here have this like dolphin and this chain wrapped in rhinestones and the rhinestones and some chains come down. These were handmade by somebody. Um, they're really neat. Uh, I'm probably gonna put those up for 25. These two are just so dirty. <laughs> they're also homemade, but they're so like dirty and falling apart. There's a lot of fabric underneath where these are all beaded to that's dusty and gross. These are gonna go in a junk lot. Um, these here are probably just going to go, um, I might try for 10 on those just to see how they do. Same with these guys. Let's do 10. And this, this is what they look like. They're not silver at all, but it is a, a Southwest style and some people really like that. Whereas this is like a mod style. These are really cool. There is some like, um, I can't remember what this is called. The discoloration of the metal. You can sometimes clean this off. This is not silver, I don't believe. There's no mark on it or anything. And it doesn't look like silver. But these are... Um, I can't remember the name of the stone off the top of my head right now. But it, it is a stone. Um, if I can get this cleaned off, I would sell these for 20 But if I can't, then this one's going to go in a junk lot. And then I have a, like cool single earrings lot that I would put that into. These are some Florida Gator earrings. I'll probably put them up for 15. And then these guys are pretty cool. I'm going to put them up for uh, 20. Okay. So these are really cool. Put these up for 20. These are really like crappy metal and they're um, starting to change color and stuff and rust. These are going in a junk lot. These I'm probably going to put up for 20. These I'm going to put up for 15. These are like orchids. They're super cool. Put these up for 25. These I'm going to put up for 10. These are really cool. They're ceramic. Um, I'm going to put these up for 25. These I'm going to put up for 10. These I'm going to throw in a pink lot. These I'm going to put up for um, mm, 20 to start. These ones I'm going to put up for 10 just because this is plastic. If this was an actual stone, I'd put them up for 15. And then these I'm going to put up for 15. Okay, so these black earrings I'm going to sell for 20. These are going to go into a gold tone lot. So are these. Um, these here are going to go um, probably, let's see, for 10. These here are going to go for 20. These purple earrings are going to go into a purple lot. So are these purple earrings here. These are going to go into a witchy box. These are going to go into a black box or lot. So are these. This is going to go into a gold tone lot. These really cool silver tone earrings uh, are going to be 25. And then this super awesome belt buckle. I'm so surprised it's not signed anywhere. Um, it has these cat's eye stones 
and then these rhinestones in it. So beautiful. So beautiful. I'm so tempted to keep this, but I just, I don't have a, a belt that I could put it on currently. I mean, it makes me want to get one, but um, I'm probably going to put this up for like 40 to 45. I'm going to do some research on it. If Basically, here's the deal. If it doesn't sell for 40, I'm just going to keep it because I think it's just drop dead gorgeous. I just kind of realized this black shadow is really um, kind of blocking some of the view of some of the things. Unfortunately, there's not really a better setup for me because if I'm going to have the camera up above here, it's going to cast a shadow just how it kind of is. Um, I don't know how people do it because I don't have like a light that attaches to this. But uh, yeah, let's see. So... These um, seahorse earrings, I'm going to do um, 15 on. These here are just some fake fancy earrings. That These are just plastic in here. I'm going to put these in a red lot since they're like fake rubies. These are going to go in a clip-on earring lot where I'm just going to put clip-on earrings that I'm not really going to sell for anything. These are going to go in a rainbow lot. Oof. This is going to go... It's a necklace. It's going to go in the green lot. These yellow, oh no, I'm cut. Yellow enamel earrings are going to go um, up for 15. These moon crescent earrings are going to go in a witchy box. This is kind of a cool set. You've got one post and then another post with a chain and a hook. Uh, a cuff for your ear. So this set's going to go for 15. This are, let's see, this has a name on the back. Emmons. So, no, no. Yeah, Emmons. E-M-M-O-N-S. So I'm going to look these up to see if it changes the price at all. But uh, I'm going to put these up for 15 unless that changes these are going to go in the clip on lot these are made of paper um i can't remember what this is called i think it's paper quilling but because they're made of paper they're like starting to get really gross so these are just going to go like in the trash these are going to go in the black lot and then this bracelet is gonna go in the rainbow lot okay so the last little batch here got these guys here which I'm just gonna throw into the black lot we go I fixed them these pretty blue ones Let's see if you can see that a little better put up for 15 these gold kind of pretzely looking ones these are vintage I'm gonna put them up for 10 these are howlite um, and I am going to put these up or 15. These green ones are going to go in a green lot. These are going to go in a black lot. They're just like those other ones, except for they have a black fake stone. Um, these little hammered 
copper bronze tone ones. I'm going to put up for 10. These are going to go, let's see, they go in the gold tone lot. So are these here, just straight to the gold tone lot. So are these, they have some little fake, um, plastic stones. It's just little, they're just plastic. These are vintage. I'm going to put these up for 15. These little birds here, I'm going to put up for 10. These are just cheapy metal hoops. They're going to go in a gold tone lot. So are these, these are just chains, like literally just gold chain. Um, not real gold. These are discolored, kind of like how I've seen silver discolor sometimes. So I'm going to test these, but if not, they're going to go in a junk lot because they're discolored. So if it's discolored because it's icky metal, junk lot, and maybe somebody can spray paint them or somehow reuse them. They're not marked, but I've come across a lot of unmarked silver. So I will check these. I'll say they don't quite feel heavy enough for silver. These here are definitely vintage. These are going to go up for 15. These are going to go up for 10. And if anytime you see like how these are missing the earring backs, I have like a big giant bag of earring backs in every tone. So I just put them on there. These are interesting because these have some kind of marking here on the back. And I'm not sure what it says. It looks like RL to me. So I'm going to have to look these up, but I probably would put them up for 15 just because they like a hammered gold look. I know they're, they're not marked real gold or anything. The marking just looks like a brand name. And then I have this really cute swallow bracelet, and this is going to go in a witchy box. So that's everything that I could find pairs to. There's still a whole lot of stuff in here. Um, I didn't see any actual gold. It's, there's a lot of like fakey stuff, but there is a lot of really fun things in here. Um, and what I do with singles is if they're really, really awesome, I do make single earring lots because there are people who can only have one earring or who like to do asymmetrical stuff. So I lot them up together and I do like 20 singles, um, for like $10, that kind of thing. And then, um, sometimes I also take them apart, um, for example, this blue one here, I'm probably going to take this off and use this in my own jewelry making because I think it's really pretty. Um, and also I will be saving these until I'm done because there's, looks like two more bags of pretty much just earrings in here. And then after that, it's normal quote unquote jewelry. So there might be the matches to these somewhere in here. So I'm going to save them till I'm done and then go through them. But yeah, so that's what I do. I either take them apart, sell them in single lots, or uh, put them in my junk lots. So, what was your favorite item? I think uh, mine was the um, the belt buckle and that, that ring that might be gold. And um, the next video coming out is going to be a cleaning video. I'm going to be doing my clothing drawers and going through all my clothing and seeing if it uh, fits and things like that or if I'm just tired of it. And I got a, which I won't come in time for the video, but next cleaning video, you'll be able to see the one after this one. I got a um, organizer for on top of my dresser um, that has like six cubes. It's like one of those Ikea cube type organizers. And um, that'll be so I can keep all my current projects in there instead of on the floor next to my bed or on top of my work desk. And um, yeah, I'm super happy about that. So yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite thing was that you saw. And if you see anything that you want 
you can um, contact me via my email address that's down below in the description or you can wait for it to come up on eBay or Etsy. I have those shops linked down below as well. And um, make sure to save room for your own passion. Make room for your own passions. Bye, everybody.